After 40 years away from fly fishing, um, I'm back into the sport. My wife showed interest a few months ago and we decided to start. We've been a few times and she really loves it. As a matter of fact, this last weekend she caught her, after, we've only really gone three times, but she caught her first trout in American Fort Canyon, beautiful little uh, brook trout, and um, she just all smiles. And so we're excited to get into this and be doing this together. Um, after so many years, I just didn't have equipment. So um, I've been using a, an older Fenwick um, fiberglass, actually it might be bamboo, um, four P or excuse me, five piece pack rod that's a convertible from um, spinning to fly. And I've been using that, but it's, you know, seven and a half feet and six weight and just wasn't that great. So now that I know she's interested and we're going to keep doing it, I knew it was time for her, me to get a a fly pole. So I did a bunch of research and decided for the price, the best one I could find that I really liked was by a Moonshine Rod Company, and it's the Drifter 2. It's a graphite, um, nine foot, five weight. It came today, I ordered it off Amazon, got it today. And so I'm going to open it up and let you know what I think. First off, not too particularly thrilled with the way they package this. Um, as you can see, there's a, a there's kind of a, a bump in the end here, and that's the end of the fishing case. So I hope this, I hope this is going to be okay. Um, So there's the, the case that it comes in. Moonshine Rod Company. Looks like it comes with a sticker. So we'll take it out of the plastic. Pretty cool sticker. And uh, looks like it's just a generic case. Oh, here on the end it says Drifter. I'm a little surprised it doesn't say Drifter 2, but it shows that it's a nine foot five weight. And on the packaging it has this around it. It's got a nice handle, hard tubes on both ends. Let's see what this says. says, thank you for choosing Moonshine Rod Company. With our unique styles derived from the Classica, an extra tip and a no-fault no lifetime warranty, you can rest assured you're making a good investment into a company that has your back. If you have any questions or concerns whatsoever, please send a message to and then the email address and they'll get back to us. At Moonshine, our customers are our highest priority. Welcome to the family and tight lines. And here it says, it does say the Drifter 2. Okay, let's open it up. That's really pretty. You can see that burled walnut. Logo on the end. Really nice cork. It's got a flat finish on it. Now I have to look into this because on the website and everywhere I saw it, it said that it was car um, carbon fiber, but here it says, let's see if I can get that to focus. Here it says, or it says graphite, so I'm a little bit surprised that I brought that and I wonder if I got the drifter instead of the drifter too. I'll have to look into that more. So 
So here's the two tips. Really nice. I, I love the color of the, the aluminum on it. Has alignment dots. You can see the dots there. The stripping eye. See how these alignment dots work. Yeah, that's really slick. Just makes it easy for you to line it up. But this is just a beautiful rod. Next section. I can't put the base on. I'm not sure I have enough room in here to put this all the way together. There you can see the whole pole mostly. If you look in the background, you can. It's got a handle. The interesting on the uh, on the drifter, it had two locking nuts, and on the drifter two, it only has one. So that's interesting. I liked the idea of the double locking wash or washer or excuse me threads, I guess, just for the security. Really a pretty pretty rod. Cork is very nice. At the top it has the rubberized top and bottom has the rubberized cork. So there's the drifter too. I hope. I'm gonna make sure because it says graphite on here, and that makes me a little concerned that I got the wrong one. It is a moderate fast action rod. So I'll take this thing out and fish with it and let you know what I think. But I am excited to give it a try. So let me know in the comments what you what you think, um, especially if you have any experience with this rod, I'd really like to know it. I'm going to pair it with a, uh, a reel that I bought from Cabela's when we got back into fly fishing. Um, hopefully the weight will work well, but we'll see.